Hey guys, welcome to The Path Less Traveled. My name is Ryan and today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite spots from my recent trip to Norway. Valvika Beach is arguably the most beautiful beach in all of Lofoten, if not all of Norway. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Valvika Beach, how to get there, what to bring with you when you do go, and also some things to expect along the way. The trail to Valvika Beach begins just 2.5 kilometers west of the town of Fredvang. There's a car park on the south side of Highway 808, but it definitely fills up quickly in the morning, so I recommend getting there as early as you can. The hike from the car park to the beach is relatively easy and can take under one hour if you're relatively fit. Now, as you guys will see, the weather can change really quickly in the fjords of Norway, so I highly recommend bringing a few different layers, maybe a raincoat, if there's even a chance of rain in the forecast, um, I'd err on the side of caution for sure. the GoPro because as you can see it is pouring out now which kind of puts a kink in our plans to climb Wrighton which is that amazing peak behind me there and it just gives really cool views of this beach and there's a really nice ledge up there for taking photos but there's been a lot of rain the past couple days and the track to get there from the beach is super slippery right now. There is an alternate track if you just want to go to Wrighton, um, but you have to park somewhere else. Um, so be aware of that. If you do want to go to Wrighton, it might not be the best to take the track to the beach first. Obviously, you're definitely going to want to bring some food for lunch or snacks, bring water, bring the right footwear, um, and you can actually bring camping equipment too because you can camp uh, all along the beach. And I've heard that uh, in the summer in Norway during the midnight sun, it's just like one of the most spectac spectacular places to camp. But footwear is definitely an important thing because even though this is rated as quite an easy hike, on the way to the beach from the car park, there can be a lot of mud, there can be um, some pretty loose rock on the way down to the beach, um, and then, as we'll discuss in a bit, if you're climbing up the peak to Wrighton, uh, things can even get a bit more slippery. So you're definitely going to want to have some shoes that uh, can handle those kinds of conditions. So there are actually two routes to get to Wrighton. There is the way that we went via the beach, which is kind of cool because you get to go down, experience the beach, and then go up to Wrighton if you're feeling up to it, or there's actually a more direct route. So this alternate more direct route actually also starts at a car park along Highway 808 as well. It's just about a kilometer closer to Fredvang than the car park where you would start the hike to Valvika. It's a smaller car park, there's not as room for as many cars, so again, you're gonna wanna get there early, but that will take you straight up the side of a hill towards Wrighton so that you can bypass the beach. All right guys, so as you can see, rain has stopped and we've had a change of plans. We're taking on Wrighton and uh, pretty good so far. Pretty damn steep, but not as slippery as we thought it was gonna be yet. So we'll see how it goes.
Well team, we have made it to the top of Wrighton and how about that for a view? This is, pro this is probably the best view I've had so far in Norway. Just incredible. Pretty steep hike, but I mean totally worth it, 100%. And I'm probably gonna go out onto here, not too far, to get some grams, make some squares. So as you guys can see, the walk up to Wrighton was not exactly easy, but it was completely worth it. It is 100% on my must-do list for traveling Lofoten. It is just insane views from the top. So I would say that if you're in good shape, you should be able to make it from the beach um, to the peak of Wrighton in like an hour or an hour and a half tops. Um, for the whole trip, including walking from the car park to Valvika, and then walking up to Raiten and then back, I would allow probably around five hours just to take your time, enjoy it, um, even spend a full day out there, like go for a swim in the water. So if you want more information about hiking to Valvika or hiking to Raiten, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, I will put a link to a website that I use to plan a lot of my trip to Norway, um, 68 degrees north, a guy named Cody runs the site and he's done a fantastic job at laying out like a bunch of different hikes and how to get there, um, elevations, expected times, all that kind of stuff. So you guys can find that in the description below. If you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you left me a wee thumbs up below. And yeah, I look forward to meeting you in the comments below. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and um, what your plans for your Norway trip are. And I'd be happy to give any advice that I possibly can. All right, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, don't be afraid to take the path less traveled. Peace.